guys what's going on we're back in the garage tonight today's video we're going to attempt to fit this a panel inner a panel i should say into that hole right there as you can tell off camera i got this all cleaned up in the last video and got it all primered and looking good my warp wasn't as bad as i thought it was i thought it was pretty bad but it actually didn't get that bad so these inner A panels can take some work. I've got to do, let me take you back over here real quick. I've got to run a series of holes through here, run a series of holes up through here. I got to sand all this, paint it. Um, sand at least the inside and paint it. I don't think I'll do the backside until I get ready to paint the whole car. But I got to do all that. I've got to put a little series of holes there. But yeah, these things are fun. I don't remember, it's been so long since I've done the other one, I don't think I had to put a hole in that because I think that slides up into the, uh, slides up into the inner wing, or the uh, cow. But yeah, let me do some clean it up here and get this thing punched and holed and we might try to get it fitted tonight, I don't know. We'll bring you back. Alrighty guys, back, got this thing all punched out, painted, got this side black, and I know it's not the color of the car, but you'll never see it, it's up against everything else, and it's just basically just to keep it from rusting underneath there. Then I primered this side, which I just noticed something that I did, and I didn't want to do that, is I forgot to tape the bottom of that thing, crap, that's, that'll be fine, I'll sand her off. Um... Uh, all the bare spots are for the spot water, which as you can see, I forgot to forgot to tape that side off. And now I gotta sand it off. But no big deal. But I'm gonna call it for the day because I'm tired. I've been up since 6.30 this morning, so I'm gonna go home and relax for a little bit and get ready for bed. But uh, yeah, there it is. Hopefully tomorrow I'll get out here and go ahead and sand that little spot off so I can get the bare metal back and put her back in. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, fellas, we're out here in the garage. We're gonna put this inner panel in. I did get that all cleaned off. Um, yeah, this is the inner panel for the, the A panel on that side. Let's fit it in there and then I'll bring it back. Okay, guys, we're back, change of plans. This Magnum panel won't fit. This Genuine panel will fit. So we're gonna go with the Genuine panel. So I gotta clean this thing up and then we'll put this thing in. But yeah, these things are crap. These good. Perfect. Although this was bent when I got it, but not a big deal. I can fix that later. But yeah, let's throw that in. Should be easy now. Alrighty, we're back where we started. Let's get this thing fitted. This metal's real, real thick too, by the way. Okay, guys. I am going to warn you, if you're ever restoring a Mark I or Mark II, this panel right here, this inner A panel, they are a pain in the ass to try to fit. I, I have fought with this door trying to get it lined up forever, and I finally got it lined up. I was having problems, if you can see right here, it was rubbing right here in this thing. And it's... It's not rubbing anymore. It's it's tight still, but it's not rubbing. It I I ciphered it down to the studs in here was they just needed to be pushed like super far forward. Once I pushed them far forward, now one of the problems I have, and I don't know if it's my door is warped or what, but when I shut my door, I get a little bit of a bounce back. And I don't I don't I don't much care for that because the other side didn't do that, but. I'm hoping once all the mechanisms and stuff in there fixes it, I may have to do some adjustments. But other than that, if you set the door right there where it's lined up, it's all lined up where it needs to be. The only thing I could think it is, is it's just where, where all that stuff was just worked and tweaked and stuff. It just doesn't want to fit quite right. I'm hoping once I get the rubbers in there and stuff, it'll, it'll all fit the way it's supposed to. We'll see. You know, first major restoration, so we'll see. 
But yeah, next thing to do is tighten all this stuff in here and get it all welded in. And that's gonna be fun. But I'll bring you back. Alrighty guys, there it is after forever and a day. We got it in. All spot welded in. I kind of wish I would have waited to spot weld this until I put the fender on, but I'll just work work between. But yeah, it's in, it's welded in. Door shut right. I I adjusted that little length, that little thingy on the uh on the beam there and it actually made the door work a little bit better so i'll have to figure fiddle with it with it i'm sure once because i got to take this off to paint it and everything so i'm gonna have to fiddle with it but yeah it's on finally next thing is the fender wing but yeah there it is what a pain in the ass